<laughs> well, even though it is fall and doesn't feel like it, one of the favorite things we like to enjoy this time of year is apples. Apple. And we're joined now by Holly and Jack, and they're going to teach us about some seriously delicious ways to enjoy apples. Welcome, guys. And Thank I know you, you guys yeah. grow apples, mm -hmm. but you know how to do some fantastic things with them, right? We right, do. Right. Yeah, so we've been really uh, concentrating on making cider uh, the last <laughs> couple of years that we've been at the orchard. And uh, so here we have our sparkling cider. Uh, so just carbonated and canned, and then we, uh, we put it in a hot bath pasteurization. Mm -hmm. um, so we don't add any like sorbates or preservatives or anything like that. All so natural. All, all natural, natural, straight okay. cider. Okay. So this is, uh, this is the sparkling here, if you guys want okay. to try that. Yeah. Not this one? Oh, it's the freshest this. cider you're ever going to have. Mm. I'm excited. Now, while, while we're Ooh, tasting these, yeah. obviously there's different types of apples mm -hmm. that, that, yeah. that exist. And so mm -hmm. is there one that you prefer for using in cider versus making a pie? And, and Yeah, no, that's a great question. So mm -hmm. um, a lot of apples, uh, I mean, yeah, they have different flavor profiles, right? So um, mm -hmm. we blend it in our cider. So we'll do some sweet apples and we'll do some tart apples. Um, and a couple of the ones that we grow that are our specialty apples are Kinder Crisp apples. Uh, we have intensity apples and they're all local uh, or cultivated here in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. uh, we pretty much strictly grow Minnesota cultivars, which yeah. is uh, which is awesome. It's kind of unique. So um, is Minnesota known for apples? Do we have oh, good yeah. soil and good weather for mm -hmm. that? Absolutely. It's a fantastic state for apples. So um, the U of M does a great job yeah. just, mm -hmm. you know, Coming up, you got the honey crisp, the first kiss, a lot of different types yeah. of apples. So. Yeah. Yep. And you can make yep. different drinks with these apples, yeah. and you guys have some we displays. Got a lot. Yeah. What you got here? So, here. <laughs> that's uh, you so not stopping. I'll take that's this one. That's a cider float. Okay. Cider float. A sparkling cider float. A little yeah. dessert for breakfast. Yes, yeah. yes. This is really sweet, though. This is really good. This is really good. I like this. And this is a, a spoon there. And that's yep. the thing, if, if you're not a fan of nice super sweet, now. you have dry options as well. I mean, oh, you can okay. kind of make that range of right. how, how yeah. much sugar you yeah. want in it. Yeah, for sure. It depends on the blend that we use and what we have available. Mm. Mm -hmm. You do a hot toddy with this cider? Yes. First, mm. um, I'll skip this one if you want to get to this. <laughs> this is just our mulled cider, which has okay. our, our spices in it. And this is our hot toddy. You said you're a big hot toddy fan, so oh, I'll let you try yes. one. Yeah. Do you want to try one too? Yeah, of course. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll make she one. got the gentleman uh, yeah, jack flowing yeah, yeah, this morning. Kind of <laughs> so I'm, I'm not very familiar with hot toddy. So sure. what all is in them? Well, so normally there's not cider in it, but we're going to do a cider hot okay. toddy. So it's usually we'll just hot, hot water, honey, lemon, mm -hmm. and whiskey. Okay. Oh, this is delicious. Um, So we're just going to add a little honey. And this is an apple? That's that a is. snow sweet. Yes. So those are really good because they don't brown over time. So a lot of mm. uh, people that bake with them or they put them in salads, uh, just because they they, they look you. fresher. Right? So where can people yeah. get your orchard apples at? So we're down at the Minneapolis Farmers Market every weekend. Uh, we're down there today. Mm -hmm. uh, my dad's working down there, mm -hmm. and uh, so. You can come down, they mm -hmm. open at 6, uh, bright and early, yeah. and then it closes at 1. Yeah. So, um, and we love yeah. our vendors, like our fellow vendors. There's, you can get everything there, and it's awesome. Yeah. And then we also have pop-ups at the orchard um, with our farm stand that you can come get some out in Buffalo. I was going to say, where is the orchard yes. located? Buffalo. Buffalo. Yeah, yeah, in between Buffalo and Monticello. All right. Yeah. And you got to go out there because today is Jack's birthday, so you got to say happy <laughs> birthday, <laughs> Jack. Thank Hello, you. Libra. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks a lot, guys, for yeah. joining us. Thank you so much. And Gilchrist Orchard will have their apples and more available at the Minneapolis Farmers Market for a few more weeks. They'll also be available for the first two winter markets. You can find more information on their website, gilchristorchard.com.